In this ROS2 Arvis tutorial, I will show you how to simulate your robots in Arvis using the Robot State Publisher and our own State Publisher. I'm going to go over the R2D2 ROS package, go through the Arvis configuration, talk about the URDF file that I'm using, review the launch file, go over the State Publisher source code, update our setup.py, build our package, and finally run the R2D2 example in Arvis. So by the end of this video, we're going to see this robot here dancing around in circles. So I went ahead and created the ROS2 package using the ROS2 package create command, and we're going to add the dependency rclpy. Next up, we're going to talk about the Arvis configuration that we're using. So the point of this configuration file is that when you set up your Arvis environment and parameters or settings, plugins, you want it to remember what you set it to. So instead of having to set it each time, you're going to have the settings stored somewhere so that when you start up Arvis, you could just use it from those settings. So the specific things we care about is the fixed frame setting that we're using as well as the robot model. And we want the topic to be coming from the robot description. And we also have the TF plugin set up so we could see the frames. So here is the file that has all the configurations. It's called r2d2.arvis. So when we actually call the command later, you're going to see we're going to be using this file directly. And some of this stuff will make more sense when we start up Arvis, so you'll see more details later on. So the R2D2 URDF file that we're using is pretty simple, but if you're new to URDF files, I have a video on it, so you could check it out. But the basic structure of our URDF file is we have a couple of links, the axis, leg one, leg two, body, head, rod, and box. And then we're connecting them with joints, leg one connect, leg two connect, tilt, swivel, periscope, and box connect. So we're going to link it between the parent and child link so that we can create the model that we showed earlier in the beginning of the video. Now let's take a look at our launch file. So our launch file is going to start up our robot state publisher and our state publisher. So we're going to call it demo.launch.py. And you can see right here, we have different settings. So first off, we're reading in our URDF file here. And then once we read it, we're going to pass it in later. So here, we're going to store it as the robot description. So we have two nodes. The first node is the robot state publisher. And this we pass in our robot description. And then the second one is our state publisher here that we're using, which we will create our own and go through later on. So these two combinations will allow us to actually animate the robot in Arvis. So you can see here, this is our state publisher node that we created. So we've inherited from the node class. We called our node the state publisher. And inside of here, we do some things in terms of setting up the creating the publisher here, as you can see, and we're getting the joint states. We set up a broadcaster, a node name, so these are all just some initial settings that we do. And then later on, we have a degree and loop rate that we're setting to. And we have the robot states, which we've defined here for uh, the different angles that we're moving, the different joints. And then here on, we have a frame ID called the ADOM for odometry. And then we have the axis. And then here we have our main loop that does the most of the simulation. So here we have a while loop that's going on. We get some clock time. We get the joint names that we're interested in. And then here we update the positions. You can see with the X and Y values as well as the Z, so X, Y, Z. And we have some rotation for a roll pitch jaw that we go ahead and update. So after we update everything, we want to publish the um, new states and then we send the transforms. And then here, we actually increment it by doing uh, different plus and subtraction based on what we want the robot to be doing. And then finally, we place a little sleep at the end. And here, we have an Euler to quaternion, as you can see, which we use here. And it's defined here, just doing the quaternion, Euler to quaternion conversion. Okay. And inside our main function, we're calling the state publisher node, and that will kick off everything and make it up and running. 
to get ready to build, we have to do some modifications to our setup.py file. So up here, we've added these imports because we need these modules later on. And we've added these two things so that we can find our launch file and URDF files. And finally, to use our state publisher, we've added this line inside our entry point. So to actually get our program up and running, you want to first build it which I've already done. And then once you do that, you want to open up two terminals, one terminal to launch the launch file and then the other terminal to start up Arvis 2. So you want to CD to the directory, source it and go ahead and run it. So I'm going to run one side for my launch file and then my other side for my Arvis. And you can see my robot here is up and running. So previously we were talking about some of the settings you want to make sure you're um, Arvis configuration has. So to actually see what those things that we were talking about, you can see here is a fixed frame. So you want to make sure that's set correctly and you have the robot model which we've added in and you see the robot description here is robot description for the description topic and these TF transform is what allows us to see the transformation. In my next video, I'm going to simulate the Tesla bot in Gazebo. So go check it out.